tonight, the first thing we're going to do is turn it over to uh, one of our top directors. She is a three-star director, and she is awesome. We just enjoy her so much, and she's going to be working this evening with her daughter, Ava. And so let's turn it over to Amy Gardner and Ava, another superstar with our, with our Tough Work family. Thank you, Ava and Amy. Hi, everybody. So we are so excited to be here with you guys tonight. Um, I have been selling Tupperware now for um, a little over eight years, and I love it. I love everything about it. Um, and um, one of my favorite things, though, is getting my kids in the kitchen with me. Now, Eva has been doing this with me um, now, since she was just four years old. And um, now she is a teenager, which is crazy, guys, crazy. But anyway, so um, this is one of our most favorite, uh, what would you call it? A snack, a treat. Yeah. yeah, a snack that we like to make. Um, this time of year, we make it a lot. Um, we don't really make it in the summertime. Not really sure why, but uh, so anyway, we are making tuppy chow right? Or puppy chow. It's actually called puppy chow, but it's super, super duper easy. And so we are actually going to use our stack cooker. Um, and I already have in here one cup of, or not a cup, one stick of butter, which is a half a cup of butter. And Ava's going to put in there and use our spatula, um, some peanut butter and a half a cup of peanut butter which is really nice. Uh, you don't actually have to measure it out when using the snack cup because the snack cup holds exactly a half a cup. So if you want to, instead of do it, oh, wait, 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 it's so sad, so. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, okay, sorry. Anyway, but um, the half, the, the snack cups are nice for packing and lunches. They're also nice for um, measuring things out. Like if you, um, if you, if you like to have everything um, like measured up, like if you know, like if you're on some, like a special diet, uh, then you can do just measure it out like that. Right. So meal planning. Right. And then we're also using one and you just dump it in one cup of chocolate chips. And so uh, you just, yeah, just use your fingers, put them in there. And the one cup we are using our uh, ideal bowl. So all our ideal bowls hold exactly one cup, right? Which is super nice. So go ahead and stick the lid on, which the lid also inverts into a tray. And so we use this a lot for trays as well. Or um, when we are making one of our favorite things, which is, what's your favorite thing that we make in the stack cooker? Go ahead, 30 seconds. I actually do 45 monkey seconds. Bread. Monkey bread. Yes, Ava loves monkey bread. And so um, whenever she has friends over, which she had friends over the other weekend, we use the stack cooker to make monkey bread. And it's so super easy. And when we do that, we actually put the lid on the bottom and we will use this one or this three quart casserole dish with a cone and then put the lid on the bottom and use it as a pedestal. So it's not um, just to lift it up more and then it cooks more evenly. So while that's in there, it does come with a seal. So we don't eat all the monkey bread, which like never happens. No, it never happens then we can put the seal on it and save that for later. So go ahead and take that out and give it a stir. Now you wanna cook it for um, two minutes. And then and if you notice, she pulled it out by the handles and you're also gonna open it up away from you in case there's any steam in there. So go ahead and give it just a quick stir. Um, it doesn't, not everything is gonna be completely melted yet, but, um, uh, we'll just stir it up a little bit and then put it back in for uh, another 40 seconds, I think, will be good. And then it'll be nice and melty, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Awesome. Okay, I'll just put that there for right now. Put that in the microwave. And we are going to use rice checks or rice biscuits. My son's like, rice biscuits? What's rice biscuits? Well, it's rice checks. All right. Uh, but uh, you can also use corn. If you would rather have corn checks, then you can use corn checks. Or using our batch bowl. Now, interesting story. Yep, we're going to go ahead. And I'm just going to have you dump that whole bowl in, or the whole box in here. And this is a 12-ounce box. So you want to use 12 ounces of cereal. Awesome. Thank you. Just set that aside. Um, and this is our 32-cup batchable. We love, love, love our batchables. Now, with you, you're going to have to have the handle on that side, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she's right-handed. Now, if my youngest was out here, he's left-handed, so then we would have the handle the other way. So, yep, go ahead and get that. Open that up. It looks good. All right, and take the, yep, and stir it up. Now, if you had any other spatula, when you put this in the microwave and you were, melt, like, you know, with melted chocolates. Stirring it? And stirring it, yeah it could melt the spatula. You could pick it up and say, hey, what happened to that spatula? And it'd be inside. You're not gonna have to worry about that with this one because it is heat resistant up to 400 degrees. So go ahead, Ava, um, and just yep, dump it on top of the cereal. And then you're gonna mix it up even more. Here, want some help. So another thing we love about this spatula is it gets all those goodies in there, but no worries, they can still lick the spatula, right? When we are done with it. So go ahead. Oh, there's some peanut butter over there. All right, here you go. So just mix that up really good. Put that aside, but... Um, so an interesting fact about the Vatsable, I'll never forget this story. So um, so how the bowl got its name. So they were um, down at, in Orlando at our home office. And um, I don't know who, I don't remember who it was that was in the office but there were guests at the office and because it's also the world headquarters. So um, people from world headquarters were there and they had just came out with the that's a bowl and they brought, they didn't have the name yet. All right. And so they brought it into the room and someone said, now that's a bowl. And that's how it got its name because it is a big bowl. And um, it was pretty cool. Did you know that? Okay. If you knew that, let us know in the chat. But what's really nice is that um, you can take this recipe and you can, um, yeah, go ahead and just get down in there. You want to make sure you get this stuff on the bottom. Um, you can have fun with this. And so you could add to it some sprinkles. You could add to it maybe some um, candy corn or maybe some M&M. You could use white chocolate or dark chocolate instead of regular chocolate. Yeah, exactly. Very good. See, I teach her. I taught her well, right? And when you, um, when you do that, uh, yeah, you do whatever whatever floats your your fancy. So then we are going to add. So that looks pretty good. We're going to add two cups of um, what's that? There's some more. You want some help? No. So once she's done with that, we're gonna add two cups of powdered sugar to that. And what's awesome about these bowls, well, there's a lot of awesomeness about these bowls and uh, Pam is gonna tell you a, a lot more about them in a little bit, but um, I, they, are, they are on sale right now, guys. And these are my most favorite bowls. And let me tell you, this one right here, it's valued at like $25. And you can get a whole set for just 50, a set of four for $50. And that's like half the price of one, right? So we're going to go ahead and, or yeah. 
what she said. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour two cups of powdered sugar on there, and then we're gonna put the seal on it, and you're gonna shake it up. You wanna do that? All right, sounds good. Now I am using our measuring, our measuring cups. Our measuring cups are awesome because they are, um, they also have on them uh, four spouts. And so you can use them for liquids or for dry, your dry goods. And they're on both sides. So you can uh, use it if you're left-handed or right-handed. So is it on good? Uh, yeah, also uh, I should hold the top of it. Just in case? Yeah. Because you don't want it flying all over the place? So to shake it, you want to shake it, yeah, around, yeah, like, there you go. All right, so I'm going to cover up her. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> she's a crazy teenager, guys. Crazy teenager. So, but these are also on sale. So when you buy those bowls, you can get these off and not just the measuring cups but the measuring spoons too which is an amazing deal so make sure that um you're letting your consultant know that you need it all that's pretty good i think there's a lot of powdered sugar on the bottom but mm, check it out you want to taste one taste it up how is it i think it needs a little more powdered sugar but look at that she did a really good job huh and it was awesome is that it did steal up and we didn't have a mess anywhere. 